happy holidays and welcome back hikers to the channel Follow Bigfoot where our motive here is to inspire to motivate you to get outside, to get on the trail and to hike your own hike. Now today I'm going to review a piece of gear from Knock Outdoors it's called their Vertex Carbon and Cork Trekking Poles. These as well as about $800 to $900 worth of gear I am giving away on the channel next week during our massive Christmas gear giveaway. So I wanted to get you familiarized with some of these items that I'm giving away. Now, if you haven't had a chance to check out what we're doing here on the channel with this giveaway, check out this video above. It talks about how you get into the giveaway. And what's really important is one of the requirements to get in here is to sign up for my monthly newsletter at followbigfoot.com. Do that today if you want to get into this giveaway. It doesn't cost you anything to get in the giveaway. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to send my first newsletter, and in that newsletter, I'm gonna talk about a way that you can earn an extra two entries to get into the giveaway. They won't cost you anything to get these two extra entries. So folks that are signed up today and will receive that newsletter tomorrow are probably going to get three entries into the Christmas gear giveaway. So make sure that you check out the video and follow instructions on how to sign up for my gear giveaway. Now back to these trekking poles. I acquired these trekking poles from the owner of the company, Galad. Back in September, he reached out to me and asked me if he could send me a pair of poles and he would like for me to review and just kind of tell him what my thoughts were on them. Now, he wanted me to see if I could take them out on the JMT and it just didn't work because my gear was already set. But I had the first opportunity to check these things out when I opted outside on Black Friday and took them to one of my local hiking areas. And I'll tell you, I was blown away with the performance of these things. And what is the coolest thing is how cheap they are. They're about half of the cost of your typical Lakey or your typical Black Diamond trekking poles out there. Now, I was so impressed with these poles after I used them that afternoon. I reached back out to Galad and asked him if he wanted to participate in our Christmas gear giveaway. And not only did he want to participate, but he wanted to be so generous to donate three pairs of trekking poles to the Christmas gear giveaway. So thank you so much, Knock Outdoors, for making this happen. And let's go through exactly why I'm so impressed with these poles. The Knock Vertex Carbon Core Trekking Poles. I want to talk about really the first impressions that I had with these things, talk about the features and why I love these things so much. So it comes in a mesh bag, just like you see it here. That's how I store mine. Now, my first impressions were pretty strong with these things. And the reason why is because of the amount of accessories that the trekking pole comes with. Most trekking poles that I have noticed when I bought them, the only accessories they come with is the pair of mud baskets, these things right here. But with Knock, they're not only sending you mud baskets, they're also sending you the rubber tips with them and they are sending you snow baskets. Now with the black diamond poles that I had, I had to buy both the snow baskets and the rubber tips if I wanted them, which just cost me more money. And because these are already at a fair price, I just was really even more impressed with Knock and what they offer with their accessories. Now, another first impression that I had about these poles that I really liked was that they come with a little Velcro strap right here. That is really cool because it keeps them nice and organized and they don't get tangled together. Now, these are, and all of their poles for that matter, are all Z style type of poles, which I love because they are so much shorter than say the Black Diamond pole I brought with me on the Appalachian Trail, the Trail Pro Shock. This pole right here, measures, I think a total of about 26, just over 26, about 26 and a half inches. And your knock pole is gonna be about 15 inches. So it's almost a foot shorter than the Black Diamond. It makes it so much easier for you to store them away. Now you heard me talk about how much I love the Z poles and how much they break down. It really comes down for me efficiency. I want to be able to put away and take out my poles while I'm on the trail without having to make unnecessary stops, which really kind of just throws off my rhythm. And with the Z style kind of poles, it makes it so easy for you to throw in your pack and not take it off while you're hiking. And because they're so short, they don't have to be affixed to any other part of the pack and they're not gonna move around or adjust on you. So it works out really, really well. Now, compared to say my black diamond poles I was talking about, if you try to do that with these, because they're an extra foot longer, they're gonna be hanging and moving all over the place. You have to affix them to your pack. 
which means you will have to do it unless you're like really special. Uh, you'll have to take off your pack in order to do that and throw it through your uh, cord or whatever you have on your pack in order for those things to stay in place. So I, I, I really think that the Z-Poles do a great job with helping you be a little more efficient out there with how compact they are. I'm really sold on this Z-Style design. Now I want to show you how to assemble their poles here, very similar with any Z-style type of pole, but there's a shaft right here that you're gonna pull out. What you're gonna do is you're going to pull that shaft out and you're gonna make sure you connect each of the other carbon shafts. And then you're gonna pull this thing out. There's a locking mechanism that's gonna pop into place just right there when it is at its full length and locked together. So this, the nice thing about this is this is completely locked in. Nothing's gonna happen with this pole. It's not gonna break down like a lot of those twist lock trekking poles. But that's how the Z-Style uh, really works and how you assemble it. It's really easy. Now, in terms of the upper half, the range that you have is 45 inches to all the way 53. Now for me, what's comfortable is 49 inches. Basically, you want to set the trekking pole on the ground and have your elbow at a 90 degree angle to determine what the length of your trekking pole should be. But 45 to 53 inches, so accommodates a wide range of uh, folks out there on the trail. This locking mechanism right here is really easy to loosen or tighten. Sometimes this screw, for other poles I've had, is really difficult when you're out there in the backcountry to tighten or loosen this thing. Like my lakey ones was pretty difficult. You just have to use a little bit more finger muscle. Whereas this, you don't have to use much finger muscle. I absolutely love how easy it is to uh, tighten or loosen that. And you're gonna have to tighten or loosen it because sometimes if it's too loose and you're out there on the trail, you're going to uh, basically lose the length of the upper part of the pole because it's just gonna basically slide down the pole if it's not tight enough. So that's really nice. I love the locking mechanism and how easy it is to adjust. Now this is a uh, cork handle. The cork handle is great because it really absorbs the sweat and I found it so much more comfortable than a lot of the other pole handles that I've had in the past. Below it is EVA foam. So if you need a grip below and you're climbing up a mountain, uh, that's got that EVA foam on here, which makes it really comfortable. The feature on here that I love the most is really going to how this is constructed. These are carbon shafts. And if you can see here, they're uh, aluminum uh, connectors they have that connect each of the carbon shafts. And what I like about these connectors is it's reinforced with extra aluminum on the top and the bottom part of each of the shafts. To me, this is huge because I think this is going to last longer out on the trail. So I'm really excited, even though I haven't had a chance to really spend a ton of miles out in the backcountry and testing these things out, I really think that these are going to proved to be very durable out there because of the extra reinforcement they have on each of these shafts. I have not really been a really big carbon trekking pole kind of guy because they have broken on me like four or five different times. And it's usually right in this area right here. The weight of the pair of trekking poles is going to come in at 17.2 ounces, which is exactly what the manufacturer states. So there's 17.2 ounces. Now, if you get the EVA foam carbon poles, it's gonna knock off about almost two ounces. It's gonna go down to 15.5 ounces. So 17.2 for the cork, 15.5 if you want the EVA, and the EVA is going to cost you a little bit less. So it really kind of depends on what you're looking for, what your budget is, but uh, I love the weight on these poles. They feel great. They performed really great for me out there. You know, what's really important about, uh, in my opinion, with gear out there for uh, all of us, us hikers, is that the company stands behind their product. I talked with the owner and they offer a one-year warranty on all of their gear. But if you're out there on a through hike and something happens to your trekking poles, the lad will do whatever it takes to satisfy you. The lad is definitely determined to make sure that all of his customers are happy with their trekking poles. It's very important to them. So they stand behind their product. And I think that's really, really important with any gear that you're choosing out there for a through hike. Well, hikers, that wraps up my review of the Vertex Carbon and Cork Trekking Poles from Knock. Now, I haven't had the opportunity, as I said earlier, to really get a chance and spend a lot of time with these things out in the outdoors. So I'll be bringing these things with me 
on a lot of my upcoming adventures to really test out the durability of them. But so far, I'm really impressed with what I see with these things. Now, don't forget to sign up for my gear giveaway if you want any chance to get your hands on these poles or any of the other gear that I'm giving away as well. Now, Knock Outdoors has not just been generous enough to donate three pairs of trekking poles for this giveaway, but they're also offering a 15% discount right now on Amazon for the next two weeks if you want to buy this set of poles or any of their other trekking poles. They have four different types of trekking poles out there, and you're going to use the discount code BIGFOOTC. I'll put all of this information below in the details as well, along with links so you can check out each of their four trekking poles that they do offer on Amazon. But an additional 15% off of these poles that are already at a very fair price, in my opinion, has gotta get you kind of excited, right? That wraps up the video today, guys. Stay tuned for the gear giveaway next week, and remember to always follow Bigfoot.